Hi, I wanted to make a video uh, to basically share my method of getting selenium in reasonable quantities because the the typical way is you find a planet with the highest percentage selenium, you go there, you wander around on the surface till you you know you might find selenium. And that's a really inefficient way of getting it. There's no crystal shards that I know of that produce selenium. So I heard about um, something called brain trees and I thought, well, let's see if I can apply my methods to the brain trees of finding selenium. And so I did, I actually found a lot of planets using a website called Xtool and I would share it with you, but it's the website's no longer there. So I don't know what happened. But uh, it's a good thing that I bookmarked the planet because uh, not only did I find selenium, but um, if you're familiar with engineering and how they group materials, uh, selenium uh, has related raw material where it's a grade four and tin is a grade three, zinc is iron one. These are all related materials. So I actually went out and tried to find a planet that had the top three, uh, the highest percentage selenium that also had tin and zinc as well. Not worrying too much about these percentages, but I just tried to get the best. And what I found was a planet that had brain trees. Um, and the system is Kappa uh, dash one Volantis, and the uh, it's B three FA. And so if we look at the uh, system here, this is your planet that you want to head to. Uh, it's pretty far out. It's got a lot of other stuff and things around, but. Um, this plant will have a whole bunch of brain trees on it. And uh, I don't remember the count because I haven't been here in a while. Uh, I just wanted to go back here for the video because uh, I don't think there's really too many other videos showcasing this particular uh, ability or like not ability, but guide basically on how to efficiently get selenium. Now, um, real quickly, I'm going to tell you how far away it is from uh, Jameson Memorial. So if I plot a route to Jameson Memorial, it is 385 light years away. So make sure you have a good ship with really good, uh, you know, fuel scoop. Uh, light year range, all that jazz, because uh, it's going to be a trip. But this is a lot closer than some of the other sources I've seen online in other guides. So, again, I tried to pick, you know, highest resource percentages, and that was closest to uh, Shin Urarta Deshara. So we're going to uh, continue our way there and go and look at planetary um, the other thing you're going to need to is I'm not sure but I think you're going to need to also scan the planet so you bring along a detailed surface scanner and that will help you identify all the brain tree points of interest because I think there's other geological sites on this planet so it's always uh, good to be safe. Uh, you could always land on the planet and just search around for them, but it's a lot easier if you know what all the points of interest are. Hey, Dirty, what's up? And I don't know why my thing isn't beeping. I might have changed something on my... Uh... Hold on a second. I'll just have to pay attention to chat. But, uh... Yeah, I'm making a video right now or YouTube. I didn't think anybody was going to be up or around to stop by the channel, but how you doing, man? I 
How is your rest? I, I rest okay. Oh no, you, you don't have to be quiet. I don't mind. Uh, so what I'm doing is I'm showcasing on how to get a pretty hard to get raw material in Elite Dangerous. And showing my method for what I think is uh, very inefficient, very efficient way of mining it. I'm going to need this video to play this, yeah. If you do engineering, if not, you don't have to, uh, you don't have to follow the video. I've been wanting to do this video for a while, and I, I have a whole bunch of other videos I want to do. I think it's funny that this is cap, the system is kappa too. So we're going to veer off a little bit to try to get a good angle of attack on. Alright, so I already have the planet scan with my DSS, so we're just going to slow down here. And uh, so if we go into uh, the filter for points of interest, that'll take you'll see how many biological signals there are. These are all brain tree sites. So I have, looks like 14? 14 sites and each site has about 30 spawns. So you do the math. You're, you're not gonna run out of, uh, you know, if you, if you go to one site and you completely farm it out, uh, and you wanna do biological, not geological. Geological is gonna be a different, uh, source of materials and, and the, the biological is going to be the brain trees. What I usually like to do is just so I know in case I farmed out one area, I always go to the very, you know, the one that's designated as number one. And then when I'm done with that, I'll go and find number two and go to that. That way I know I'm not already going to the same uh, but we're going to try to experiment too. I'm going to see if relogging also respawns the uh, biological uh, spawns that are on the trees. So I'm going to go ahead and target uh, number one. And uh, it's actually not too far away, so this is good. The planet is also pretty sizable, so approaching it shouldn't be too difficult. Smaller planets tend to be a pain in the butt to try to approach when it comes to the planetary landings. So I'm feathering my throttle just to just make a slow approach to it. I don't need to fly in here at light speed. I'm not trying to save any kind of real time. And getting close to uh, we're on the dark side. I'm going to turn on the night vision Now I'm at full throttle, just waiting for the glide to kick in. We're still pretty far out, so I might actually delay the glide a little bit. So we get about 100 kilometers, and that's a good spot to hit the glide. There we go. Alright, so now we're going to angle down a little bit. And we're kind of upside down as far as orientation to the planet. But that's just to keep this in my viewport here. I'm going to roll over so we're right side up. Make sure I stay out of the red zone and just head right towards the site. So that was a really good glide. And already you can see the brain trees populating uh, this site. Watch your eye. Keep your eye on the gravity. It's a little heavier than what you might be used to. So just make sure you break when you're coming in. So you can see... Now, not every brain tree here will have a spawn on it, but they, they are very plentiful. I'll just take a quick look at 
you know, close up in this ship here. So these are the brain trees. That's what they look like uh, under normal headlights. So we want to pick a spot just somewhere near. Because we're, we're, it's going to take us a while to get through all this stuff here. So over here looks pretty good. We're just going to find, I'm going to drop the landing gear. Try to find some spot. Any spot will do. It doesn't have to be like super close. I'm just looking for a blue flash. Ah, there we go. We had a blue flash. All right. Just gotta stabilize it in that one little spot. Drop down and press down on the throttle and touchdown. Crowd goes wild. All right. So we're gonna go deplo deploy our SRV. Drive and then I'm also going to use night vision for this just to make things easier. So just for video sakes, uh, we're going to look at what I started out with. So I have 37 out of 150 uh, selenium. And so I'm looking to try to get as much as I can and then top out on these other resources. There is one other resource, uh, it's a tier four resource and I can't remember what it is, but um, we'll find it here. So the other thing too, is you wanna make sure you have your scanner zoomed out as far as possible. You can see me zooming it in and out right there. So you wanna have it zoomed all the way out and then what I usually do is I kind of, uh, I kind of work my, you know, just work through the field. I try not to like zigzag randomly all over. I try to go the outer areas and then slowly zigzag my way in to make sure I'm not uh, backtracking a lot. So uh, we got two signals and you can just... Um, so I'm going to start over here, and like I said, I'm working on the outside, work my way in. I'm going to zoom in on my scanner just a little bit. Alright, so here we have our first, and what it will be is there's different types of rows. And then you can use your, uh, I have to switch to combat mode, and then I'm also going to put Power into the weapons. To, uh, I'm gonna put a little. Do full power. Actually, do full. What am I doing here? Full power into engines. Oops. Keep on doing this wrong. Full power to engines. And then two pips and weapons. So that'll knock off a piece and. Uh, you just target, open up your target scoop, and you see that is uh, carbon. You'll also get other materials. There's a whole bunch of random materials that you'll find. So we'll go. I'll showcase each one as I find them. Another tip when you're shooting a brain tree is you go up in the air. It'll stabilize your your uh, turret. You shoot stuff in the air. Uh, so that's also carbon, which is a great one. See, let's go. Ah, this is low gravity, so it can be a pain in the ass a little bit. All right, so tungsten here, we have a grade three. Um, and there's a variety that's not on the list. That's not the selenium tin, tin zinc, but they do exist on this planet. Continue on this way. Thompson again. Now you say, well, I haven't found any selenium yet. Well, 
the selenium on this planet has, I think it's like a 5% um, There's phosphorus, which is grade 1 Chromium, which is great too. We gotta do some. There we go. We got it. So there's different gross. Carbon again. So we're full up on carbon. I can't pick up anymore. So we're just going to leave that. So there's polo, polo or forest growth. We got core corcosite growth. Um, and then we also had seed pods. And then I think there's also one other, one other type. So we're going to keep on searching here. Uh, the selenium carbon we already have max on that okay chromium I get that oh I'm full up on chromium so that's two mats I so there's a this might have selenium or one other type of material. Tungsten, that's a grade three, so it's a higher grade, which is good. Zinc, okay, so that's one of our items that's part of the selenium group. It's great too. Uh, so that's a good sign. Looking for this. I gotta zoom in on, on my scanner here. So you just gotta be patient and keep hitting these grain trees, but you'll get lots of materials. Um, this iron. A lot of it just is praying to the RNG gods, unfortunately. Sulfur. There we go, selenium. So there's our grade four, and we'll get a three count of that. So we're at 37, that should bring us to 40. Yep, that's 40. So we just keep on going around and shooting these gross. And uh, I gotta remember poly. Okay, so the poly ones are the ones that produce selenium. I don't think the other growth types do it. So if you're looking only for selenium, you don't even want to deal with the rest of it. Uh, I think the poly happened here. I think, oops, the uh, poly I think there's one other type that produces it. There's tin, so that's also part of the selenium group. That's the grade three version. Uh, so that's also really good that I'm finding that. Some 
nickel. Here's a poly, so we have a chance of getting selenium, and we got in chromium instead. Okay, so this is definitely um, this phelum excretion that is going to be a grade four of a different type, um, and I'll show you as soon as it pops out. Hit it from a different angle here. Yeah, so there, there's Tellarium. That's a grade four. So it's a nice byproduct of the site. And Tellarium, anytime you'll see those, uh, those particular types, it'll always be Tellarium or whatever your the planet produces. Some zinc. Some here. Carbon, we already have that. But we're full up. And there's a poly, which has a chance of producing selenium. It's zinc, but zinc is part of that group, so that it's good to have. I'm just going to keep wandering around here. Another poly, so we'll go over there. Again, I'm using my thrusters to stabilize my gun, but I was a little off angle. Chromium, we're already full up. It's all about percentages. Uh, nickel, we need some of that. Tungsten, grade three, so that's nice to have. But all you have to do is rinse and repeat. Uh, you don't have to watch this entire video to pretty much get the gist. You can just come here. Uh, you know, it's kind of fun, relaxing experience to just sit here and farm. And you get a shit ton of side mats. Expand my scanner so I can get some more targets. So far, we've only found two selenium. But at least we know it's here, and it has a chance of spawning. Hit it. Oh. There's some selenium, so that's the third chunk we have, so that gives us nine total and in my opinion this is way faster than um <laughs> this is way faster than uh roaming around on the planet hoping to get something that could spawn selenium
Saw Floor will happily take that. Zane for a pull up on. Tungsten, grade 3. Always happy to add that to my collection. Zoom out of my scanner a little bit. Okay, so the, here's a Thelema excretion. This is going to be a grade 4, I think it was tele, Telerium or Telelum. So you'll get to see how this produces the same grade 4 on this particular... I have to hit it from a different angle. And I'll just use my turret for this. Yeah, it's tel Telerium. And we'll happily take that, because, you know, grade fours are always nice to have. Poly, so that has a chance of producing selenium. Yep, there we go, selenium. So that brings us to, that's our fourth chunk, and that brings us to 49 out of 150 total. Typically what I'll do so I don't get bored of doing this over and over again, is I'll decide how much selenium I want to get. Um, And then, I don't, you know, if you want to do max, you're going to be here probably for a while, and you'll have to jump to other sites. Iron. Uh, so, like, when I get, I just, I have fun with it until I get bored, and then I'll, I'll say, yeah, that's enough. Because you don't need a lot of, uh, a lot of selenium, but it's... oops, whoa... Don't want to get stuck on the rain trees, you have to go do some crazy stuff to get unstuck. Get some more sulfur... And like I said, I think poly is the only... Polyphorus gross are the only one that's produce selenium. So if you just want to go around finding those, but it makes it hard to, if you skip other radar contacts, you don't know what areas you've cleared. So I just go through everything to make my life easier. Some fancy flying. That was some like Top Gun shit right there. Anyways, uh, back to. I gotta. I'm cool, like a in a <laughs> there we go. So that's gonna be that Telerium again. to get some of that something back here. Alright, we're full. That's just le leftover zinc. Let's 
trying not to run into trees, but... out on the scanner. Now I'm using my ship as kind of a guide on where I'm at in the field of brain trees. So I'm at the edge of the field and I'm going to start making my way kind of around because I think I pretty much cleared a large, I think I've cleared this whole field almost. So we're going to just kind of zigzag, make sure we've hit. I'm going to just go off in this direction, see if I pick up any stragglers. Looks like we pretty much cleared this whole field, and I will be, I think I'm going to head back to the ship, and we'll hit site number two, because I want to get a little bit more selenium than what I, uh, and although the max cargo, I think it says 150, I think the max selenium you can get, oh it is 150, I'm looking at the, the bar. It might be a hundred, because I remember one of the things being kind of bugged. And... forward. Pretty cool, that whole animation. So we are going to target um, Biological Site 2. Well, 2 is Geological, so we're going to go to 3. And 3 is Biological, so we're going to go ahead and select that. And go ahead and lift off. Turn on our night vision so we can see where the hell is going on. Looks like it's on the other side of the planet, so I am gonna boost the hell out of here. So out of that patch we got four selenium uh, and we got a whole bunch of other mats too that are useful for engineering. Drive charging. Three, two, one, engage. Yeah, so I'm gonna use a planet. Yeah, this is on the other side of the planet, so I gotta go get some altitude. So I'm gonna go straight out. Just kind of line myself up there. So I'm above the glide plane, and now I'm going to start cutting over just gradually. Try to get my target lock screen. So we got some good speed now. Let's slow it down. Orbital flight engaged. 
Let's get a nice gradual angle. Oh, no, no rush to get there, so. bit steeper and then come in shallow once so I hit the orbital glide. Yeah. And then this is where I usually flip over right side up. I forgot to check if I could re-log. Maybe we'll do this on this patch. Okay. Alright, so here we are, and this looks like a good spot over to the left here. And whenever I land, I always face the ass of my ship towards the where I want to go. Go ahead and drop the landing gear and landing gear deployed. Blue flick of where to land. The terrain's a little crappy, so all I need is a flash of blue. There we go. We got a line. Great uh, not spot again. Oh. Come on. It's like really tiny spot. Just lost it. There we go. Oh. oh. My, you know what? I'm gonna find another spot because this is really. It's so small, it just won't let me land. This looks better over here. Yeah, this is way better. So we're going to back up. That's pretty good right there. There we go. Alright. Deploy. Uh, so I'm not going to use my night vision. We'll just use my regular headlights. Start farming. So poly, crossing my fingers for some selenium. Valerium, which is a grade four. Gotta open the cargoes. Some tin, that's good. I like. Some phosphorus, that's always useful. So this fellow mixture that's gonna have the tellarium in it. But it's a grade four, so I can always trade down. But it's always very useful. It's a lot more hilly than the other site, so a little hard. Uh, I think we got some selenium, yep. So that's five 
Four chunks in the other one. We'll start a count on this one. So we got one chunk on this site. And you know what? This is a good test. Uh, since we know that it came from this tree, we're going to do a relog and see if it respawns. Because that might actually save us some time. So we're going to exit. And we're going to exit to main menu. We're going to do two tests. We're going to exit to the main menu, go back in, and then exit all the way out and see if that resets. Now, if these don't respawn from relogging, it'll actually be a good question of how long does it take for these to respawn? So you can see that was the tree that we farmed it from, and it is not there. So we're going to go ahead and exit again, but we're going to go all the way out to desktop and then log back in and see. Because if it does respawn, you could easily fill up on uh, selenium pretty fast. Well, cross your fingers and see. I'm guessing it's not it's not gonna respawn. Gut instinct on this. You have to cool down on it. it's probably like a two hour per command. Yeah, that's the second time. And I think I tried this once before, but it's been so long that um that I just wanted to give it a shot again. Alright, so we only got one chunk so far. We got something right here. Sulfur. Scoop. Alright, we're gonna go to... Whoop. I'm gonna do these two off on the side so I'm not getting in the middle of the field. It's like really hilly here. So chromium, we already have that. That's selenium. So that's two chunks. And I'm making a mental note in case I ever make a Reddit post say uh, how many selenium chunks I got per per site. Sulfur, take that. Just outside the angle of. Sulfur. And we're just gonna follow the breadcrumbs of. Oh, here instead. I don't think these seed pods produce selenium. It is. This is tin. So I think the seed pods are dedicated to tin. Uh, you know, I'm gonna go back and hit this up here. Zoom in my scanner a little bit. And 
we don't need that anymore. Seed pod, that might be 10. Yep, that was definitely 10. And this is a little bit hard to shoot. I'm going to use my turret on this. Alright, so that cleared the edge of this area. There's something... Zoom in on my scanner. We got two... There we go. I knew there was something. Uh, some zinc, and it looks like we're full up on zinc. I think it's just. Oh no, we got chromium. Oh, we're full up on that. So we're actually picking up so many extra materials that we're. I, I can't even pick up some of them now. Almost like half of what I'm farming here. A grade four, that's nice to have. Uh, and we'll go over to the right here. We want to get make sure the field is clear. Nickel. Need pull up on that. And some selenium. So that makes chunk number three, I believe. pieces on the same tree. Kinda weird. There's tungsten and iron. I think I've seen that actually happen. has a chance, I believe, of producing the tin we like to have for container materials. Yep, there's some more tin. Uh, go ahead and hit this over here. Whoa! It's a little crazy. Low gravity makes it a little difficult to uh, navigate around here. So zooming in on my scanner because the field's getting a little denser. Poly, that could be selenium. Nope, zinc. Seed pod, that could be tin. Yep, some more tin. Oh, stuck on Another seed pod, some possible more tin. Tungsten?
really hilly right here. Alright, so that's gonna be that grade four again, the Tellurium. Tellurium? Tellurium or something? And we're gonna use our, uh, turn. Close the turret. Behind us. There's two of them here, I didn't even see this one. Zinc, we're gonna pull up on that. I think this batch of stuff is. Oh my god, the, the terrain and the gravity are making this really hard. Delenium, so that makes chunk four. And then we're gonna go to the edge and work our way in here. Sulfur, we'll take that. Get this it's so close, this could produce 10. Keep going till I clear this field. And pull up on that. Let me in my pull. Pull as well on that. Just stuff we don't need. Let's stick to this edge. Uh, you know, we'll hit this one. It's so close. Come on. There we go. Sulfur. Mark turn. Holly that has a chance for selenium. Cross our fingers. Yep, there we go. Called it! So that makes chunk five. And uh, if I'm guessing, that's probably all the selenium we're gonna find in this uh, patch. So it's, I think the average is about five chunks, which is equal to 15 selenium. Might be ten. Yep. Another poly. We might have one more chance for some selenium. Nope. Some zinc. More zinc. Sulfur. That. And I think that is it, folks. Or I'm gonna zoom out on my scanner. Yeah. 
that's just the zinc that we don't need. And yeah, we I think we hit this entire patch. We'll go this way just to make sure. Kind of cut through the field. I'll cut right. Just kind of make sure I don't I didn't miss any. Yeah, I'm pretty sure we're we're uh, done here. Whoa. Oh, whoa. Okay. That was uh. All right, so we're gonna head back to the ship, and I'm gonna do one more patch just to see what kind of numbers we get in comparison, because I think three patches will be fine. And we're going to see if we can land on our ship, because we got the right angle. I don't know if I have enough engine power, though. Nope. Whoa, whoa. <laughs> whoa. Low grab is, is hard to uh, deal with. All right, so we're going to go ahead select target inventory. All right, so we're at three. What's number four? That's Geo. Five. It's also Geo. We're looking for six. It's Geo, so seven Geo. Eight is next. Eight is Bio, so hit that. Alright, so those landing gear boost up. Might not. Something's wrong. I gotta target it. So this looks like it's way on the opposite side of the planet. It's alright, we'll just... We're gonna get above the glide plane and then start slowly angling into the planet. Speed. Is our target? Cut speed a little bit. We're about fifty, seventy five per cent throttle rate. Engaged. Tuck back on throttle a little bit. Try to angle out to try to hit the orbital at about a hundred meters. Or less. 
It's actually pretty good glide right here. It's a weird looking site. It's like in a crater? Night vision. Yeah, it's like in the, the shadow of a crater. So, this looks like a good spot here. Get our landing gear going. Landing gear deployed. Scanner, there we go. Signal like right here. Can I shoot? Oh, I can't shoot because I'm too close to the ship. Uh, try this. Nickel. Scanner a little bit wider. Jeez. Chromium. For all that, we don't need it. Selenium, so that makes chunk one on site. That's being a pain in the ass. Sulfur. Sleeve, that makes chunk two. This should be that grade four stuff right here. Tellurium? Tellurium? Urban. Ah. Why is this? Oh, I already. I'm full of them. Okay. Durr. That was tungsten. This will be that tellellum. Tellellium? How do you say it? Tel tellur tellurium. Tellurium. Okay. We know how to pronounce it now. Tellurium. Uh, we'll go back then. So we're here first. Tin? No, tungsten. Well, 
just a little bit. Zinc. Have that. Can zoom out and scan. Tight here. Oh, we got two of them, too. Sulfur, that's a no. Zinc, that's a no. Now that we got that... Zoom out a little bit. Whoa! Slippery. pretty full up of materials. Uh, we got a poly. That might be selenium. We only got two chunks so far. We got two chunks like right away and after that is like nada. Pull on that. There's something close here. Zinc. Nope. That might be selenium. Nope, chromium. So I am out of ammo, so I gotta set up some more. Oh, wait. SRV ammo restock. So I'm good to go now. Selenium, so that makes chunk number three. Nice. Uh, just my. It's a felon right there. Some more. Uh, the tel tellurium. I, I can never remember exactly how to pronounce it. Nickel. Get full on that one. Tungsten. Widen my scanner a little bit. Just again. This could be selenium. Nope. Denied. Some iron. We have not full on that yet. Tellurium. Tellurium. We're, we're starting to learn how to pronounce it. That. Pull up on it. Tin. It's always useful. It's 
wrestling and that makes chunk number four. So I'm thinking we might get one more, maybe not. But it looks like the average is around five. I'm going to zoom out of my scanner. Try to find some more. There we go. Seed pod, not a chance for selenium, but could get some tin. Tell you, you know what? We're gonna hit this right here. Chromium, that's a no. Wrong angle on this one. Take that. One carbon. Nope, oh, another carbon. That's good. There's something else close here. Oh, there was a double... A double spawn. Pretty rare, but... ...do exist. That's going to be the tel Tellurium. If I'm saying it like Tellurium, yeah. Ten maybe? Yep. Ten. This will be something else that we don't really I will take it though. So I'm not sure if we're gonna find I'm I'm guessing we're not gonna get one more selenium. So the count so far has been uh, four, or five, five, and four for each respective sites. Poly, uh, Liam, that makes five, so that is definitely a, a direct uh, five for five. take a run through field here but I think that's it that's going to be enough for the video and for the idea so just to rehash uh, I got a total of 15 selenium from three patches five per patch and that translates to 45 selenium and then we also got a crap ton of other uh, materials and I'll show you exactly what the count is at the end of the video. So we started out with 37 selenium and we got a total of 45 additional. I could keep going per patch and maybe pick up 15 per patch. Uh, but we definitely got a lot of tin. Tin is used in a lot of engineering. Uh, we maxed out on zinc and we got a good amount. We also got a lot of uh, side materials. We got this uh, Lorium, uh, and we maxed out on all, uh, a couple of other 
Yeah, that's max out on chromium, carbon, uh, sulfur, maxed out on. I think that's about it. But that was a pretty good run, and uh, I hope that this shows you the reliability of getting to my ship. Okay. Um, I hope you shows the reliability of the uh, farming the selenium so you can do your engineering. Typically what I do is I just get enough to do whatever engineering project I need. Anyways, uh, I want to give a thanks for everybody subscribing to the channel, uh, making positive feedback comments, and uh, all the thumbs up. I really appreciate your support, guys. This is JD Splice signing off. Thank you for watching.